Well, for a lot of people right now, the thought of going to the doctor, even in an emergency, sounds pretty scary. We're being told to stay home. We know that people who have the coronavirus are going to get treatment, and many are concerned that they could contract COVID-19 from somebody else or a healthcare provider, and they might be scared that even they themselves would have it. But doctors say not only should you not be scared of seeking treatment in an emergency, you should not ignore some of those signs. Joining us live this morning on FaceTime is Dr. An Nguyen, Senior Medical Director for Providence Immediate Care Clinics. Doctor, good morning. Good morning. So what are some of your clinics doing to try and reassure patients who maybe not are, are not going because they think they have COVID-19? They're going because they're sick or something else is wrong, but they're worried about their safety. Well, we at the urgent care clinics have um, set up tents uh, for our respiratory patients to s separate the groups apart so that people can feel safe coming in, whether they're showing up for their respiratory problems or their other illnesses. And so are those people being screened uh, outside before they ever step into a building? Kind of walk me through the process here of what you're doing when patients arrive. Yeah, so you would show up at the door and we'll have a nurse up front that can screen um, the patients that step in. And from there, they'll be directed in one, one direction or another. Typically, um, we'll bring the patients, if they don't have fevers, into the office building. And the other patients that show up with fever or coughs or shortness of breath will prob probably direct to the tent. So I know we've been telling people if they think that they might have COVID-19 to, to call a doctor's office before they just show up. Is there a certain set of symptoms or certain scenarios where you do want people to be calling beforehand? You know, in all honesty, we're open to take care of everybody. So we're still set up to see all the patients that we saw previously. We can just separate those so people can feel safe no matter what they're coming in for. Um, the primary care teams also have set up a way to do telemedicine. So for people who have a primary care doctor, they absolutely should start by calling their regular doctors first. And their regular doctor will direct them whether they should come in and see us in the urgent care or to the emergency room, because the emergency room's open as well. Yeah, okay, that's some good guidance. So let's talk about uh, some of the scenarios here where if someone is experiencing symptoms, they don't think it's coronavirus, they're not sure if they're sick enough. You know, you always have that, oh, is it worth the trip to the doctor? What are some of the signs that people really should not ignore that, that do need that trip to go see someone? Absolutely. So people shouldn't be waiting at home if they're having chest pain, severe headaches, weakness on one side of the body or not. Anything where you don't feel like you can take care of at home, we're happy to see people. And we can, like I said, we, are, we have the gear and everything set up so that people can be safe, whether they're presenting with something respiratory or something else. It, it, we are fine either way. So please, at least start with calling their doctor. Now, are, are you concerned at all that, uh, that people are not seeking medical treatment? Have you seen any kind of aggravating conditions getting worse uh, because people maybe are, are worried about coming in? I think across the country, people know, uh, we, we've been hearing through the medical community that people are staying home because they're too scared to come in. Um, I think the most important thing for people to understand is there are avenues and all the hospitals, clinics, urgent cares have set it up to where there is a safe way to be seen without being exposed to COVID. So that's, that's the take home message is please come in if you need help. Yeah, some good reassurance there and, and good to not ignore some of those symptoms to really do seek treatment before it could be something much worse. All right, doctor, we appreciate the advice. Thank you so much for joining us. And Absolutely. We'll have, yeah, we'll have more information too from Providence Health Systems on coin.com.